Hi everyone, Boomer here from the Dream Giveaway to Garage. And today we're outside in beautiful Clearwater, Florida at Showtime Speedway to show you the new show and tow package. Yes, it's a 2019 Dodge Power Wagon, full custom. It's a 1970 Cuda AAR and it's a 19 foot Futura aluminum trailer. This is one hell of a package. And on top of all that, we pay $45,000 to pay the taxes on this, and you get a $10,000 gift card from Eastwood. So let's take a look at these beautiful vehicles. All right, standing here next to this beautiful 2019 Dodge Power Wagon, and what you have here is a full custom vehicle at this point. We've changed so many things. I'm just gonna walk through a few of them for you here. First thing you notice is the hood. This is a one-off custom hood. Uh, it was made to mimic the AAR Cuda that we've got that goes with this package. So really, really cool hood. Of course, underneath this hood is a 6.4 liter Hemi motor that makes 410 horsepower and 429 pound-feet of torque. So you've got plenty of towing capacity in this truck. The next thing you'll probably notice are the bumpers. These are Fab Four bumpers, front and rear, and I'll show you the rears here in a little bit. But these were a custom fit to this vehicle, and it does retain the 12R, when you flip this hood up right here, you've got the uh, worn 12R winch underneath here. So still there, still retains. You've also got rigid lights. You've got two pods on each side, plus you've got the big light in the front. Uh, just makes for a really, really cool look. We also did put a small red light package into the grill in the bumper of this thing. Uh, so actually it's a million color kit, so you can do run red, blue, green, whatever your heart desire. You can make the truck look really cool as it starts to get dark. In addition, uh, we changed out the wheels and tires on this truck as well. So what you've got now are these Moto Metal 20 inch rims and we're running Neato uh, Ridge Grappler 35 inch tires. And it sets up really, really nice. This is the stock lift on this truck. I mean, we did not do a lift. This is the way this truck comes from the factory. It really did not need any more. Uh, so, I mean, you've got good clearance with, the, with your rim tire package. It looks cool. And you've even got these really cool AAR badges that go in your center cabs that match the, the graphics on the truck. Um, one of the other things you can see as I'm standing here is this stripe. This is a custom stripe that we had put on here. Uh, it matches the AAR stripe on the CUDA. You'll be able to see that a little better as we move around. But uh, tell you what, let me pop the hood and we'll take a look about what's underneath here. All right, getting up here to take a look at the motor, you kind of get a feel for how big this truck is, and it is a big truck. Um, but for as big as it is, I mean, it drives really, really well. We'll get to that in a little bit, but I just wanted to give you kind of a look at this 6.4 liter Hemi. Like I said, 410 horsepower, 429 pound-feet of torque. This does come with the towing package on it. Uh, it comes, I mean, which will work great for, uh, for hooking up that trailer and pulling that, uh, that CUDA behind this truck. But uh, yeah, just a beautiful package. There's still a lot of room inside this engine bay, so you could actually get in here and work on this thing if you wanted to. All right, let's uh, move around the side. All right, now standing beside this truck out so you can see the kind of the broadside view. I mean, you can see how beautifully this truck sets up with the, with the wheels, the tires. You've got the stripe package on here. You've got the tow mirrors. Um, let me step back over here so you can kind of see the stripe package. You've got the AAH here, the power wagon. Uh, this color just really pops in the sun. Windows are tinted. Uh, got the side steps on here. Just a beautiful, beautiful truck. Uh, so let's run around here and let's take a look inside and show you what really makes this truck so cool. All right, once you get into this vehicle, you can really see why this thing is so cool. I mean, 
for a trucks, amazing how far they've come now. The interior on this thing is beautiful and it's functional. Um, start with your gauges are really well set up. Tack and speedometer, everything you need is up there. Your, all your controls are on the steering wheel. Uh, you do have a gear selector knob in this truck. Uh, and then you've got power everywhere. You've got power up here. You've got 12 volt down here. You've got more plugins here. You've got plugins inside the console. So you've got the console comes up here. You've got plugins here for power. And then this thing even flips up again. You can got more seating here. Plus this even opens up again. You've got more storage down here. Plus you've got a, a disc player down here. So there's a lot of, of, of available room and storage in here. One of the other things I really like about this truck, as you can see it here, is this 13 inch display screen. This thing is amazing. So let me start the truck up so I can bring this thing to life. Once you get it started up, everything comes up on here. Uh, you've got uh, driver and passenger heated and vented seats. So they're heated and they're cooled. Uh, you've got a heated steering wheel. This thing acts as a Wi-Fi hotspot. Uh, but one of the neatest things about this truck, especially if you move around in tight places or you're pulling a trailer or whatever it is, this button right here that says surround camera, you push that and you get this, this series of screens that come up. The first thing you get is a full 360 degree view of this truck from the top. And then you get all of these different screens that are selectable. Like the one on here now is is a narrow backup screen and then you get a wide backup screen then you get a forward view what are you looking at over the nose of this truck because you can't see down here because the truck does sit up a bit and then there's a, a narrow shot and then you got one the, uh, this that one i just pushed goes to the bed it actually shows you what's in the bed of the truck uh, you've got one that shows you right at the hitch and which way the, the rear of the truck is moving and then you've got a really cool one that will actually show you down both sides of the vehicle. Just really, really neat stuff. There's almost nothing or no space you can't get into because this truck really, really helps you out when it comes to all of that. Another really cool thing is, of course, you've got your glove box here, uh, but you've also got this really neat kind of hideaway little glove box here. Um, just as a press of a button, it goes up and down, kind of neat. Of course, this does have full air conditioning in it. And uh, the back seats are huge. And there's a couple things in the back seats I want to show you. So I'm going to jump out, we're going to move around, and I will show you how kind of these back seats function. All right, sitting here in the back seat, you can see, I mean, there's a lot of room back here. I mean, I'm not a little guy. I'm 6'2", 210-ish. Um, I've got plenty of leg room back here. I got plenty of elbow room. There is, th there are three seats back here. It's got the uh, a nice pull out uh, center console. You can put drinks in. But here's the one thing I wanted to show you. If you're if you're going to take this truck to work, if, just say you you're going to you want to work in this truck, or you've got other things to do, these seats flip up. These fold forward. Your tabs, are all, these little tabs, pull up here. And then this whole thing folds down and it creates a full workspace. This one does the same thing. So you've got all of this as workspace. You can put a laptop back here. You can put pretty much anything you want. Of course, it's still got openers for your cup holders. You can still put your cup holder in there. Um, I mean, just a very, very efficient way to use back seat space room in this truck. Plus, you've still got you got more power back here. You've got a 12 volt plug in back here that you can plug in anything you want, uh, run a cord off of it, uh, and you can control your heated and cooled seats from back here too. So just really neat. And of course it folds up just as easy as it went down. And one more thing I'll show you here. Uh, this is a big subwoofer for your, uh, for your stereo system. This does have a really, really good sound system in it. Um, so if you just want to jam out while you're pulling your trailer, you can do that too. Before I forget, I wanted to show you these RAM boxes. These things are super cool. There's one on each side. You pop these things up. There's all kinds of storage space in here inside the bed of the truck. 
really neat. Um, you can put just about anything in there and they are lockable, so that's really neat. So as we move back around to the back side of this truck, um, I mean, just a, a beautiful, beautifully done setup. Uh, first thing you've got is this bulletproof hitch, or a hitch from bulletproof hitches. Uh, it's fully adjustable. It is, it is locked. Uh, you can raise this thing up and down depending on what you're towing. Make sure you've got a full wide range of options when you're towing stuff. Uh, the bed itself, the tailgate is one touch. It's easy down, lets itself down. The bed is fully lined. You've got the, uh, the LED lights back here in the back of this, and this is a switch for them right here, turns them on and off. You've got the bed tie down system. Of course, all the way up front, you can see the power sliding window, uh, and you can see the, the cargo light for the bed up there. I mean, just a really, really great package. And when you go to put this thing back up, it's really neat. One of the things you can't see uh, is that there's an LED strip down here that we installed. It's got your it's got your brake lights in it, it's got your backup lights in it, it's got your turn signals in it. It's a really neat custom piece for this truck. So now that we've got the truck covered, let's jump over and take a look at the CUDA. All right, now we're here with the 70 AAR CUDA. This really is a beautiful, beautiful car. The car's got brand new paint on it, it's got a brand new vinyl top on it, and then there are a lot of other really neat things about this car. Starting with, this is a numbers matching AAR CUDA. There were about like 2,743 of these cars were produced in 1973. And you know, the whole uh, idea behind these cars was as the AAR CUDA, the All American Racer, you know, a version of this car was campaigned in the Trans Am series by, by Dan Gurney and a few others. So these are really race bred cars. This particular car has less than 59,000 original miles on it. It has the 346 pack in it. It has the 355 rear end and it does have the uh, automatic transmission in it. So tell you what let's do, let's pop the hood on this thing and take a look about what's under there. So underneath the original fiberglass hood on this car, you can see this motor is absolutely beautiful. Uh, the previous owner of this car decided that he wanted to uh, bump up the performance on this car just a little bit. Uh, stock these cars were, or stock these motors were uh, 290 horsepower from your three two barrel setup in here. Uh, he opted to go just a little bit different direction. While this is still is a numbers matching motor and transmission, everything is, uh, the original parts are here or we have them. Uh, there was work done on this motor. So it's got new Holley carburetors, it's got a new intake, it's got full length headers on it, it has a mild cam in it, and the uh, motor's been bored 30 over. So no longer 290 horsepower, this car is probably pushing 375 or so and with the mild cam in it it sounds absolutely amazing of course it fires up first time every time purrs like a kitten until you want to make it growl so let's move around and uh, take a look at the side as you can see standing out here the paint really pops on this thing in the sunlight uh, you've got the the satin black on the hood You've got the, the red on the sides of the, and the trunk lid of the car. Uh, you've got your AAR stripes. You can see it back there, AAR CUDA. Um, you've got the, uh, the dish wheels with the period correct tires. You even got the, uh, the correct little Chrysler symbol on the side of the car here. Uh, neat little story about that. Those symbols, uh, Chrysler only put them on one side of the car. They put them on the passenger side because as the story goes, if you're driving down the street, that's the side that people who are walking by can actually see. You can obviously see, uh, of course, this is a brand new vinyl top on this car. Uh, the chrome is in wonderful, wonderful condition. Um, and you can see the exhaust down there. Of course, it's got the, you know, the cone exhaust on it that come out in front of each wheel. Uh, that is the correct exhaust for this year of AAR CUDA. And uh, just a beautiful, all around car. So let's jump inside and take a look at the interior. All right, sitting here inside this car, 
I mean, it really does take you back to 1970. I mean, if, if you had one of these cars back in 1970, I mean, this pretty much exactly the way that you would have done it if you wanted to take it out and, uh, and kind of, you know, run stoplight to stoplight with all your friends on a Friday or Saturday night. Um, 70s technology at its finest. I mean, it's, it's beautiful inside here. You've kind of got the, you've got the, you know, the, the wood grain looking steering wheel in here. Uh, your gauges are up front. You've got a speedometer. Uh, you've got a fuel gauge, a temp gauge, an alternator gauge. This one has had an oil gauge added to it, so you can see your oil pressure on your motor has had an aftermarket tack added to it uh, with the red line set up on it. It's a nice little piece sitting down there. And then um, the rest of the stuff that goes on in here, there's your headlight switch, your wiper switch, your dimmer switch that turns your lights up and down, uh, rear defroster, frogger. this one does have a rear defogger on it. These are your off-road lights. Here is your, uh, your air control for your, your interior. And then you've got this wonderful radio. It is an AM eight track radio. And yes, it does work. It's really cool. Um, in the center here, you've got your two vent knobs. So you pull those to let fresh air in. Uh, glove box. The seats in this car are absolutely beautiful. They've been redone in, uh, in original materials. They're, they're out, there are no marks on them. They look like they've never been sat in. The door panels are perfect. The uh, center console is perfect. The dash pad is absolutely beautiful. I mean, all in all, this is an absolutely gorgeous car that is every bit a time capsule of the late 60s, early 70s. When you, when you look at a car like this AA Arcuda. So tell you what, let me start this thing up for you and uh, let you kind of hear how it sounds. You start it up, car starts right up, oil pressure comes up, tax running. I mean, just an amazing car. warm up a little bit. It's got that nice little look to it with that mild cam that's in this car. Just really nice. When you put it in gear, you can really hear it. There he goes. I mean, if you're a 70s nostalgia lover and you love these cars, you know, you've got to love this car because it is so, I won't say period perfect, but it's period to correct to, to what you would want if you were going to build one of these for yourself. So let's, uh, I'll jump out of here and we'll move around to the back and we'll take a look at, uh, at the back of this car. Back here at the rear of this car, this is one of my favorite views of this car. I mean, I love the way the rear end on these Cudas looks with the blacked out tail panel, the, uh, the factory correct spoiler, the slash tail lights. I mean, the chrome on this car is absolutely beautiful. Of course, you've got these little bumperlets that came on this car. Really, really neat. All the glass in here is all the, the right, it's the original glass, so it's, it's all still in there. And I wanted to show you this. I mean, pop the trunk on this car. Um, original trunk sticker. I've got the, we've got the original uh, tire and jack and everything that goes with this car. Everything in here is correct. I mean, just a, absolutely magnificent car you know these this pair together this the 19 power wagon and the 70 a arcuda are a perfect pair for each other uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at the trailer you get as well the third piece of the show and tow package is always the trailer so this year we've got this beautiful futura 19 foot tandem axle drop trailer. So this thing will drop all the way down the ground. We'll show you that here in a minute. But while we're up front here, I wanted to show you some of the options that this trailer has on it that make it really, really cool. First of all, you've got this giant shield up here. So nothing that's coming off the truck or off the road is going to pop up and hit the front of your car. On top, you've got a space for uh, storage for tires up there. Uh, you've got a winch. This winch stores in the box here and then it, you can move it from side to side. It's electrically powered, and 
it will, you can pull a car up on the trailer if you have to. Solar panel here. It's got storage in your box here. This is all 12 volt, runs off a of battery. Uh, there's a winch in here too that you can manually lower the uh, trailer up and down. Uh, really cool package. Hooks up real easy, tows real easy. But let me walk around the side here and kind of show you how this thing works. So what you've got is you've got a remote for, the, for your trailer. This is it right here. Basically, press the two buttons, the light lights up. Then all you have to do is push the button and down goes the trailer. Very cool. Then you drive your car right up on the trailer. Once you get it up on there, you hit the button, hit the up button, trailer goes back up. You can open your doors over the trailers. It's a real, it's a very low sit height. So uh, your doors will open up over the wheel wells and you're good to go. I mean, this kind of completes that show and tow package. You've got the beautiful 2019 Dodge Power Wagon. You've got the 70 AA Arcuda. You've got this wonderful Futura 19 foot drop trailer. And we pay $45,000 to the government to pay your taxes. All right, this year's show and tow package is absolutely amazing as you've just seen. You've got the 2019 custom Dodge Power Wagon and everything that goes along with it. You've got the 70 AA Arcuda and you've got the 19 foot Futura aluminum drop trailer. I mean, what a package. In addition, we're going to pay $45,000 to the government to pay the federal tax on this package, and you get a $10,000 gift card from Eastwood. So remember, go to dreamgiveaway.com to get your tickets, enter early, enter often, as I always say, and remember, the money that you donate goes to help seven great charities. We've got New Beginnings Children's Homes, Detroit uh, Rescue um, Mission Ministries, uh, Smile Network, Bright Pink, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, uh, National Guard Education Foundation, and Honor Flight of West Central Florida. So remember, go to dreamgiveaway.com, get your tickets. You're helping out seven great charities. You're helping kids. You're helping veterans. You're helping cancer patients. You're helping everyone. So whether you just like to give to charity or whether you love cars and you want to see this in your garage, go to dreamgiveaway.com and get your tickets now. And remember, I'll see you next time in the Dream Giveaway Garage.